Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for morning's trading. The uh, Tuesday, 19th of July, 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the price action today, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here. We have uh, had the um, we have the European markets all down today, more around 0.5 to 1 percent lower. Asian markets overnight were certainly mixed. We had the Nikkei up 1.3 percent, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai both negative. Okay, so again having a potential negative effect. Now we had the uh, risk off factor overnight from Netflix certainly missing earnings down 15 percent. We had Yahoo missing earnings, although we had IBM stronger. Okay. Uh, this morning we've had Ericsson certainly weaker on the weaker side. Ericsson certainly hurting uh, in terms of their earnings. Okay, we've also have a, a potential uh, warning from Moody's now with regards to the UK, but I think that's really a broken record now. I think we already know the actual negative effect or in impact from um, Brexit and the market certainly have ignored it thus far. Okay, we had a, a potential terrorist incident last night on a, a German train. So again, that certainly is a risk of factor. Uh, Volvo earnings potentially weaker again this morning, so again hurting potential sentiment. Okay, so again they are the uh, bearish factors. Now a lot of that has been factored in, with European markets obviously hitting gap fill support now, and certainly has been factored into the equation. Okay, in terms of economic data today, we have inflation data out of the UK, so again that's going to be important. Okay, especially given the fact that we've had a BOE member potentially talking, well one member talking up and one member talking down potential key QE and rate cuts. Uh, ZEW did a survey out of Germany, again that's going to be important, EU construction data. Then we have housing stats and building permits out of the US, red book sales, and we also have a global dairy trade auction uh, later on today as well. So again that's going to be important, uh, four week bill, API crude weekly stock uh, as well, that's going to be important in terms of oil and commodities. Okay, commodities certainly weaker this morning, oil prices down, I'll bring, let's bring up the chart of the uh, uh, crude oil. Okay, so crude oil, you can see here, certainly under pressure this morning. Okay, uh, again, we are coming into potential support. Well, this zone here certainly seems to be a one of support around the uh, 45 to 45.5 zone. Okay, so again, looking for a potential bounce here. Okay, now in terms of um, uh, technicals, let's see exactly where we stand. So let's start off with the German DAX first of all. German DAX certainly under a lot of pressure. I did explain in my videos that. Uh, now, even my charts as well, that like we were into that FIB 75% resistance. Obviously, with Netflix down, European markets were expected to move lower. So you can certainly see that FIB 75% resistance looking for a move lower, certainly looking for weakness. 60-minute chart on the German DAX, we're into gap fill support now, so we've broken out this uh, bullish channel type um, pattern. Okay, so again, looking for gap fill support of the German DAX and looking for a potential bounce here now. Okay, so certainly factored in the potential bearish news. 10-minute chart. I'll just clarify that I'm actually long the uh, euro stocks now, so certainly bullish in Europe at this juncture. So again, you can see the German DAX here closing the gap below. It's all about gap fill below, and that gap certainly has been targeted and filled now. Okay, so again, looking into gap fill support, looking for a bounce on the German DAX here. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Let's go to the daily chart first and foremost of the French CAC. Okay, so daily chart, you can see that we've held that uh, FIB 75% resistance markets reversed. Bear in mind this week that we do have the ECB folks, so again, don't get too bearish on European stocks because the market obviously is um, obsessed with QE at the present. We did have the Nikkei higher overnight though, so bear that in mind. So again, another argue, another reason not to get too bearish on um, European stocks, okay? So, uh, or global stocks, I have that because of the uh, potential QE nature. Yesterday, the FTSE 100 certainly rallied on the back of an arm, okay? That certainly has given up that uh, strength. So again, you are into potential support here, okay? Uh, for the French CAC. Uh, you do have resistance above those, so watch out for that resistance zone. Just cleaning up my chart here for you. Okay, so again, uh, previous support equals resistance down here now as well at 4350, so again, watch out for that zone. In terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE, FTSE certainly has shown strength this morning given the fact that European indices are down almost 1% plus across the board, but the FTSE is only down 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So again, impressive strength on the FTSE. As you can see here, 60 minute chart certainly holding here. Hasn't, I mean, I actually expected a pivot low of 6620, and that hasn't occurred at all. So, immense strength in the FTSE folks, and that certainly has to be respected. 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100, you can see we've obviously closed the gap, uh, bottoming tail, and now starting to bounce. So, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Again, don't be surprised if gap fillers close at 6700 
And again, FTSE certainly seems to be some sort of takeover target now with the with Sterling obviously go falling and uh, that's certainly been attracting foreign uh, prey uh, or predators, should I say, uh, are buying potentially um, or uh, certainly uh, good value UK companies. And again, that certainly seems to be the uh, the actual uh, uh, bid this morning in the FTSE and the strength of the FTSE as well to a large extent. Again, if oil can bounce off that pivot low at 45, you could certainly see a nice impressive bounce in the FTSE as well. Okay, so <clears throat> potential support gap fill obviously at 4665. Four six, uh, sorry, six six fifty five support, and then obviously you have six six twenty zone support below. So again, watch out for that zone below. But again, looking for European uh, uh, markets to rally here, certainly looking to potentially tick, tick higher. Okay, I think that's a good summation of European indices. Uh, from my perspective, you certainly have the euro stocks into gap fill support now. German DAX into gap fill support. Again, looking for a potential pop here. Okay, yes, you do have a uh, H and S formation. So again. Certainly remain open to that potential h &S formation, but given the ECB QE on Thursday, certainly seems hard to uh, envisage that. Again, I've gone longer gap fill around the 2928 level, looking for a move higher. Okay, looking for a potential move higher in the euro stocks uh, on the back of obviously ECB QE on Thursday. So again, all eyes on that QE, uh, and that certainly will keep the market bid. Okay, uh, that certainly is a good summation of European stocks this morning. Um, wish you uh, the best in your trading day. And uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that potential 25% bonus. Goodbye now.